so uh cancer you know this person it's really important to them what they're trying to explain to you what they're trying to express uh to you so let's start your reading and i'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on here hello cancer welcome to my channel welcome back to uh my channel for some of you guys some of you guys are doing well this is your general your general love reading for april we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course and vice versa as well feel free to jump ahead to the start of uh your reading guys it is timestamp if you click on the description bar below uh, click on where it says start reading, then you'll jump to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there. You know, sometimes could be messages for our that jump out and speak to you and of course just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so give me a moment to just finish laying these paws there we go and i shall uh, take this in and up of that so cancer let's start your reading and of course Take whatever side resonates with you guys and pick it up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So just started from the past. So I'm looking at the past first. We've got. So this is someone that you've been with for a while with the six there. This is someone that you've been for. A... Yeah, for a while. I feel like there's already been some form of um, established understanding of who you both are and that only comes with history uh experience um being around someone for a while so this is someone that you definitely feel uh, that, you, that you've been with for a while there's an epiphany or realization around this for you around and i'm going to pull on that i'm going to pull on that because i feel like it's in response to this person uh there was maybe some bickering this person was kind of maybe pausing arguments or minor argument the drama you know minor frustration and that's coming from we'll see now let me just clarify the uh that page there oh it's a new gorgeous card got yeah frustration conflict minor arguments which cause them to you know give small offerings not do as much as they possibly was doing before i don't want to use the word disconnect because it's not so much a disconnect it's more about them not putting in as much as they as they as they were or they that they once were the epiphany is coming around you realizing that you need to move in a certain way or handle this in a certain way maybe put a plan together or strategically handle this in some way with the king and that's the king of um ah one second that's actually aha uh -huh. okay so that's what that's what's going on that's the king of cups these beautiful cards that confusing me so that's the King of Cups there. So we've got, so this, so you'll definitely see you as someone who stable, reliable, you know, I feel like this is, a, like I said, a long standing relationship or long term type of relationship. And that's the position that you hold. You also realize that this person is loyal as well, has been loyal, is loyal. And, you know, they're just that type of person. Bringing it to where it is now, it feels like frustration or the conflict or the minor arguments has gotten more because the four so you're definitely in that space and it's to do with more so of 
how this person feels about something. So there's something that they're standing firm on. Standing on business with, it means a lot to them. You know, this is something that, yeah, means it means a lot to them. And I don't feel like you're, it's not that you're not acknowledging it, but I feel like it's not, you're not really seeing it for what it really is because you're so caught up on, yes, you know, you've been able to establish yourself in a certain way. I feel like for a lot of you, this is to do with financial stability. So you've established yourself when it comes to just maybe finances or just what you provide or what this relationship is in a tangible way. So when I say tangible way, I mean, you know, whether you live together, you've solidified and you've, you've got the title of maybe marriage or relationship, um, you know, you spend time together. Well, when I say spend time together, meaning you spend um, spend on this person, you take them out, you treat them a certain way. But there's something that they are feeling like they're not getting. And, and that means a lot to them. And it's to do with the emotional aspect of this relationship, looking at your challenge. Now, we've got the 10 of cups and we've got the 10 of cup and we've got the 10 of um, coins here. So for you, you've been, so it's either you've either been interpreting it as, and this most probably stems from just your ideas of what relationships are, um, is this idea of, okay, well, I'm providing or we have this or we have that. Uh, for example, if you're able to financially provide for your family, um, that's what you do and that's what you believe you should be done and you're kind of happy with that because you're able to or you have been able to provide that and manage that and get yourself into that place. But what's missing is the emotional aspect of it, which I don't feel like you've either taken into consideration or you've just missed that part of the equation or you might not even acknowledge that you that's really important. I want to say in emotional aspect, I mean, this person feel like feeling like they've been heard. This person feeling like they're being listened to. Um, emotionally connect, communicate, spending time uh, without, you know, the bells and whistles, so to speak. Because what's pulling on your attention is going back to this providing, is this putting in work, but on a, on a, financial aspect yeah I feel like for a lot of these definitely to do with finances it, in terms of what you're providing in a financial aspect but what's missing is the emotional aspect and that's because you're so focused on that working so focused getting in the way of of that and that's what's meaningful or important to this person is that aspect I feel like this person has been maybe uh, brought it to you in the past Maybe there was a lack of understanding around that. Uh, but their challenge is, is getting you to see or kind of bring this back into alignment. Because I feel like for a lot of you, at one point, you was there. It's them bringing this back into alignment. And it's not to say that this person wants to end this because they don't. They're still very much drawn towards you, pulled towards you. There's a strong attraction towards you. And towards, you know, continuing to build on this relationship. But build something that includes the emotional aspect of this. That's important to that. Yourself, it might take you a little bit longer to <clears throat> take on board, understand, uh, see where this person is coming from because there's still going to be this judgment there uh, for like, I just get the sense of, you know, you're interrupting the flow. You're interrupting. I feel like maybe you shouldn't take this personally. I feel like for a lot of you, you're kind of taking it personally simply because you thought you was doing the right thing. You thought you had this on lock, if that makes sense. But, you know, life's about evolution and growing and evolving and what you don't know, you don't know. So I don't feel like, and that's why I went back to the past. So I, feel, I don't feel like oh, for a lot of you, you took that into consideration or was taught to even take that aspect of relationship 
uh, into consideration. It was more about what you could provide or what it looked like. That makes sense. So for you, there is this, you know, there's still this judgment um, and you're, you're kind of standing strong in that as well. You're really standing strong in that as well. Now, this person is not going to, you know, there's no signs of them up in the leave it. But you want to get out of this place. You want to get out of this place and you want a, a balance of both needs being met. And if this person is saying, okay, you know, look, you know, I, I, I want I want to feel heard. I want to spend, uh, you know, quality time with you. I don't want it to be about the bells and whistles. I want us to go back to how we were when we was maybe, you know, drinking out of wine in, from plastic cups or paper cups and sitting on the floor because we had no furniture, but we still had this strong emotional connection here. We still, you know, spend quality time together. Does that make sense? <laughs> so hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. Bye. Thank you.